Now, German and French leaders say a Saturday meeting of Eurozone finance ministers will be vital for the success of the talks on a Greek bailout deal. German Chancellor Angela Merkel says all parties involved in the talks should work to find a solution before financial markets open on Monday. We very much hope that an agreement can be found on Saturday, and we have made the point that the meeting of the Eurogroup on Saturday will have a decisive importance. I think that kind of language gives you an indication of the fact that time is really of the essence, and how hard people should work to make it possible for us to be successful. Whether that is going to be happening or not, I can't say right now. The German Chancellor made the remarks at a press conference in Brussels where the crunch talks were taking place. Like Merkel, French President François Hollande described the Saturday meeting as crucial. He says Paris will spare no effort to get a universal and durable deal with Greece. Hollande also says when Greece, Europe and the Eurozone are at stake, EU member states have to know how to conclude negotiations. Joining us now is our man in Greece, Constantine Venizelos. He joins us via Skype from Athens. Now, uh, Constantine, it was always hoped that the 11th hour deal will be clinched. Now that the Saturday is being a, a deadline of sorts, is that even possible? Good afternoon, Kenise. Well, we know that right now, as we speak, Alexis Tsipras is on his way to the European Council to see uh, Angela Merkel uh, and uh, Francois Hollande, even though uh, Donald Tusk, the president of the European Council was quoted uh, as saying, as telling Tsipras, game over. Uh, this is a confirmed quote to which Tsipras replied, this is not a game. Uh, there is also uh, talks that the plan is being prepared uh, to ring fence uh, Greece uh, as early as Monday. This might include capital controls. Uh, should Eurogroup uh, talks uh, tomorrow fail again? Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, two stories down, Varoufakis uh, is saying that Greece cannot sign an agreement uh, that is unviable, uh, is the word uh, he used. Uh, and there is also an observable change of mood uh, here in Athens, uh, Canese. Uh, up until yesterday, Syriza government officials, not the hardliners, Syriza government officials here in Athens uh, were hopeful uh, that differences could be bridged. Uh, but uh, Panos Skourletis, the Labour Minister, um, this morning said that if dilemmas occur uh, that are outside the democratic mandate uh, that Syriza has been given, uh, Syriza will once again resort to the people, uh, meaning, of course, that the, that, that the option uh, of an open referendum putting the question of a Grexit to Greece by way uh, of a referendum uh, right. is still at play. Okay, let's see how this pans out for Greece. Uh, let's leave it there for now. That's Press TV's Constantine Venezuela's reporting from Athens via Skype. Constantine, thanks very much indeed.